Up next, we got the uh, speedtest.net app loaded up here on the Thunderbolt. And we're going to run this, see what kind of uh, results we get. Ping time is showing uh, 200 milliseconds. Download speed is about 7, and upload is showing 29. Now, we've tested this a couple times, and uh, different servers um, getting anywhere between uh, 8 and uh, 12 on the uh, download. But for some reason, the uh, upload speeds are showing these really high numbers. Um, we're not sure how accurate that is. I highly doubt it's uploading at 28 megabits per second. Um, could have to do with the uh, with the app itself on here. We'll change uh, to another server here in Miami and see what kind of test results we get on that. Okay, right around uh, six down. And 48 up, so. <laughs> Like we said, we're not sure why it's uh, why it's being so uh, inconsistent on the uh, on the upload speeds, but it's uh, definitely a lot faster than uh, 3G devices. Uh, up next, we're going to test the uh, Droid X and the uh, motor, um, Apple iPhone 4. So here's the uh, Motorola Droid X. I'm going to start test on that. Using an EVDO right now, it's about, let's see, 1.32 megabits for the download. And the upload is about 0.6. So, definitely a uh, speed difference there from uh, 1.3 using the uh, Motorola Droid X to uh, anywhere between 6, 7, 8, uh, occasionally up to 10 uh, megabits per second on the Thunderbolt using the uh, 4G LTE. Up next we're going to be using the uh, Apple iPhone 4 here also connected to Verizon. So we'll see how this one holds up since it's also using the uh, same uh, EVDO network as the Motorola Droid X. So it's about 0.68 megabits per second on the download. and the upload looks like it's 0.43. So there's between the uh, iPhone 4, Motorola Droid X, and the HTC Thunderbolt. So it's definitely a uh, speed increase you're going to see using the uh, Verizon 4G LTE network. 